Hello everyone. Welcome to CAD tutorials for beginners. In this tutorial, we will see how to create threaded nut bolt and how to simulate it with the help of DMU kinematics. So let's start with the part design. So we'll first create a nut bolt. Let's go to the start, select the environment mechanical design and the part design. Just provide a name, bolt and keep the other options as it is and click on OK. So we will first create a bolt here. Just select the position sketch, sketch on the top plane, reverse the edge and swap this both axis. Now we will create a hexagon here, sorry and this will find the hexagon here select the hexagon select the center here just align it with the vertical axis and here we will provide the side of the hexagon that is 30 and click on enter so again exit the workbench and just pad it 25 click on ok So now we will create a shank here, again select the position sketch, select the face here, align the axis, if you are not able to use this position sketch you can uh, just watch our earlier videos on the position sketch, just select the circle. and again provide the dimension to that so let's say 25 and exit the workbench and again here provide a pad let's give a length of 100 mm and just enter it so uh, now our basic part is completed now we can uh, go for the threading threading part so before going to start the threading we have to just create one point here so select the point and select the edge here edge of this circle and just click on the ok so that one point is created on this circle edge now we have to just change the uh, environment to get the helix curve so we cannot find uh, the helix curve in the part design so we have to just change the environment go to the shape and the gener generative shape design gsd and in the curve you can find here the helix or also you can go to the insert and here you will find uh, the wireframe and you can just select the helix from here as well just select the helix and here you have to uh, provide a starting point just select this point as a starting point and select the axis so now axis uh, if you try to uh, change the axis here you can you can just right click on it and you can provide the axis name or the lines if you have already in the in the part so i will just select the z i need the helix along with this z axis just select the z axis so you can find here the helix curve is created along that z so if you try to change this to uh, y so it is taking the another orientation so just keep it to z axis and just will reverse this in the another direction so height we will provide till 80 and we'll just increase the pitch little bit just increase the pitch keep it 8 and just on click on ok so now uh, the helix curve is created now we will just create a threading in the part design again we will change the environment to part design go to the mechanical design part design and here we will create one plane to draw some sketch the threading profile so select the plane select this curve here and uh, the option that is normal to curve is automatically get selected yes provide the point here select the point and click on ok 
so now we will draw on this plane so again select the position sketch select the reference plane here and here if you see uh, you can you can just uh, project this axis system to that point so here uh, select the projection point and select this reference point so in that way uh, you can just transfer that axis you can project that axis to that particular plane just click on ok and here we will draw a circle we'll just create a circular profile and again provide the dimensions to this profile here just keep this as 5 and then exit the workbench so now uh, we have the profile and we have the center curve then you can we, we can use the slot command just click on the slot here just select the profile and then just select the center curve just select the curve and you can preview this and just click on ok so now in this way uh, the uh, threading is created to that bolt similarly if you want to uh, change some of the dim dimensions you can just double click on this and you can change the dimension as per your requirement exit the workbench so again uh, you can provide the uh, chamfer over here so um, i will not do that uh, you can uh, try it so now our bolt is ready so just uh, save it save as to nut bolt simulation and we'll save it as bolt so again i will just close this one and we'll create one more part just go to the mechanical design part design and here we will create the nut just enter after it and now we'll create a nut so again similar way uh, we'll draw the sketch on the top plane and here again we will create the hexagon of the same dimension we will create the hexagon just provide the side length which was 30 and again exit the workbench use a pad and length of 25 mm so we'll just create one simple hole with a pad command draw a circle and provide a dimension to this one so again we'll keep it as 25 mm make a pocket so actually we'll just reduce this pad here to 20 and then again uh, you can you can just provide the chamfer to this edges over here so you can just uh, sorry i will just control set this one you can use uh, the revolve cut for the chamfer now we will create a helix here so again to create a helix we need a point so create a point on this edge just click on ok so one point is created he over here again to create a helix we have to uh, just change the environment to generative shape design so here i will select the helix or you can again uh, get the option from the insert menu select the starting point and select the axis that is z from here as well or you can just select from here reverse the direction and provide the height height of 20 mm it's a complete height of height of, of this uh, nut and here again you will provide the pitch so now our helix is ready similarly uh, change the environment here and now we will create one plane here normal to this curve and select this point to create a profile thread profile 
select this plane and again here you can just project that axis system to these points and click on OK. So draw a circle here and provide a dimension. Just keep this as it is 4.5 and exit the workbench. Now use this slot command here and select the profile and the center curve. Just click OK. So now you can see uh, the thread is created on the internal side. So you can provide the chamfers with the help of revolve cut. Here uh, you can see this grow command. Just save this as a nut. Just hide this one. Hide this axis. Again, this point will hide here and just save this one. So exit this one. And now we will make an assembly of it. Go to the mechanical design and the assembly design. Go to the insert, go to the existing component and select on this product. And you have to select the bolt or you can just select the two at a time. So now if you see here, uh, there are two parts available. And we can just manipulate this one. Just select the nut and manip manipulate in the x y direction. Actually, again, uh, we have just we have to ch change the uh, pad of this pad length of this. Just double click on it, double click on this one, so it will open it in the, so just right click on it and open it in the new window and here we will just change that pad length and again we will keep this as it is 220 mm and just will save this one. So once you save this part, the it will automatically change in the assembly as well so now we will provide the constraints over here so hide this and hide this one and here first we will fix this part open the constraint bar here double click on this product to select the assembly so now you, you can see here uh, the options are enabled now and uh, fix this first component sorry fix this first component and now we will align this one You can see uh, it is aligned concentricity and here we will provide the offset constraint just close this one select this face and we'll just hide this bolt and here we will select this face and provide 20 mm distance once we update this one so it is go going to start from that thread so now uh, we will we will try to simulate this uh, mechanism here and to simulate this one we have to change our environment to digital mockup and select the digital dmu kinematics so here again we have to just uh, fix one constraint just select the fix constraint and uh, create a new mechanism click on ok and just select the body which we are fixing and here we will provide a screw joint 
just go to the joints here and select the screw joint so first select the axis of this bolt here and we'll just hide this one and select the axis of this nut and here just select the length driven and click on ok so now you can see the mechanism can be simulated again make this show and here now select the simulation we have to simulate the mechanism one so you can see So here uh, we'll just uh, select the uh, zero here and insert the first time and secondly again we'll uh, just uh, randomly we'll select some dimension and insert after it and now we'll try to just simulate this one and here you can just change the interpolation steps and in this way you can simulate the uh, nut bolt mechanism if you want to uh, make it slower when you can just uh, reduce this interpolation steps for the nut bolt so thank you very much for watching please do like and subscribe our channel for more videos thank you